I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. I will go on with the same lesson the cries of our founding mothers. What could be the reason for the cries of them and us or the concern here for us? So far I have made you aware of three reasons and also solutions for our cries at the time of crisis. Reason number four for our cry is misunderstanding the ways of God. We are crying because of the misunderstanding of the ways of God. One of the common follies among the Christians is misunderstanding the ways of God. Generally, we line up the order of happenings and also work out the manner too. But we too have to remember the saying of our Lord as My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. If we lean on our own understanding, definitely there will be a chance to misunderstand God's way. We read about the cry of Jacob in Genesis 42:36. He said, "You have deprived me of my children. Joseph is no more." and Simeon is no more and now you want to take Benjamin everything is against me the godly man Jacob was crying and assuming that everything was against him since the missing of Joseph he led an unenthusiastic life and he was fully shrinked his Spirit was revived only when he saw the wagons which were sent by Joseph. Many years Jacob lived a life for the sake of living. But all those were in the master plan of God. What all he can what all he considered as against him were going to turn us good sooner. Jacob might not know what was happening behind the screen, but Joseph knew well Simeon was in the safe hands of Joseph Benjamin was going to be taken to the safe hands of Joseph all the more his dearest son Joseph was reigning in Egypt next to the Pharaoh here an appropriate time is required to know or understand the ways of God it is not necessary to put ourselves at mess and misunderstand God when things or happenings around us or against us remember lord knows everything don't come to any wrong conclusion by leaning on your own understanding i trust there are millions of living examples must have been on this earth as attestation to this truth let me say another example from the scripture to understand this truth Once the prophet Jonah cried towards the Lord How did he cry Lord take away my life for it is better for me to die than to live This godly man went to the extent to die rather than living What was his problem He was exceedingly annoyed and troubled after the salvation of Nineveh He was not interested in it because what he prophesied did not happen he might have thought his prudence was under question it might have irked his self and its esteem god's perception is completely different from the perception of jonah what was god's perception in jonah 4:11 lord says should i not have concern for the great city of nineveh Here Jonah refused to understand the ways of God. A right commentary for it is found in Romans 9:22. What if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering the vessels of the wrath fitted to destruction. This attitude of God was bestowed upon the city of Nineveh. It was unacceptable to Jonah. It was unacceptable to Jonah. That was the reason for his cry. We too at many times are not ready to accept the ways of God and also put ourselves in trouble. 
we must have a deep conviction on god can do no wrong we must be dare to follow the ways of the lord another example in the order is elijah he requested that he might die and said it is enough for me lord take away my life soul the iron man who proved that the lord is god on the mount of carmel was not an exception to fear frustration and self pity jezebel's power and influence frightened him and he went to the extent of dying he also had no idea to share it with anybody else because he thought that there is no one to listen to him and understand him but the lord reserved 7000 undefiled godly men in his repository in fact the great elisha was ignorant of this fact so he suffered from the sickness of self pity and cried to die when we are in such a situation we learn to wait steadfastly for the lord to know the goodness of the ways of god the psalmist was making a long cry in psalm 73 verses from 2 to 14 he envied upon the wicked because they were prospering whereas the saints were chastised why a saint had to envy a wicked he is telling all the day long i have been afflicted and every morning brings new punishments then he himself finding a solution to his problem in verse 17 when he entered into god's sanctuary he was enlightened and freed from all thistles thus misunderstanding the ways of god causes the cry of the saints and it is very common among great godly men to overcome it we should not lean on our own understanding we must be dare enough to accept the ways of god and wait for the lord steadfastly to enlighten us thank you